So now I'm back here talking with Mike. Mike, how long have you been working in the costume department? Well, I've been head of the department and in charge of the uh, Fox Wardrobe Archives for 14 years. Um, the one thing I notice about this, especially about the Titanic costumes, is the pristine condition they're in. And considering the movie was done over 10 years ago, it's amazing. How do you keep them like that? Well, they're uh, stored in the dark to protect the uh, colors. They're uh, covered all the time in garment bags with uh, acid-free tissue. And we do the same with the shoes to keep their shape and the same with the hats. Don't you also have to keep boxes. it at a certain temperature in the room? Yeah, we try to keep it as cool as possible. So while I was walking through the costume room, I noticed that there are rows and rows of Titanic costumes. How many costumes were actually used in the movie? Oh, hundreds were made and also purchased. And are there duplicates of these costumes, or are these the only ones? Uh, the principal costumes uh, are almost always doubled, at least. And I also remember you talking about that there were multiple costumes from the closing scene? Yeah, Rose's dress at the end, uh, there was like 16 or 18 of them made, and uh, that was because of the water sequence. So you had to keep changing her dress every time you did a cut? Uh, uh, well, and also the fact that they started to fall apart uh, being in the water. Oh, that's, that's unbelievable. So the costumes used in the movie, were they actually accurate to the time period? Yeah, in pre-production they spend a lot of time uh, doing research and getting uh, pictures from magazines, uh, catalogs, Do newspapers. they actually sketch out the, draw the, the dresses? After they make the decision on what the character is going to wear, then they make sketches and have it approved by the director. So it's really similar to what we do in Barbie dolls. Very close, <laughs> yes. And did you ever think that you'd be involved in a Barbie doll project? Uh, no. So how was it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. I hope you enjoyed that behind-the-scenes look at the Fox Studio wardrobe department. And now for my favorite part of the design process, the final result. And here's our Titanic Barbie doll. I had so much fun. Until next time, see ya.